I've been down. Down. And I've been twisted. Twisted. Oh, Lord. Yeah. So many battles on the home front, I think I'ma need a backup Every time I think I got it, then I seem to stumble backwards Many surprises when you rise and the little things become so giant Confusion takes a hold of me, then I forget who I am But I don't forget who I am, see I need restoration Hanging on for dear life, looking for how I could escape here I've been endowed with great fear, picking up pieces from my pieces I've been shattered many times, and they wonder why I'm sleepless But please don't leave me speechless and may my prayers always reach there I could move mountains when I speak to you uh, No matter how far the jump I'll lead to you You can't keep me from you No, no I've been down Down And I've been twisted Twisted Oh, Lord yeah. Get me lifted I am above the stars Stars The hardest thing to deal with is to move without feelings Seeing signs on all sides but don't know what your will is Don't know what the real is Feeling my back's against the wall Seeing all of my mistakes And I desire to fix them all but without you it's impossible And from my inside type of call but then it don't even ring They all say how much you love me so how could it be That you would let me destroy myself I need saving from me And when they write inside my book use my tears as the ink So they can testify on me all I did to break free and to glorify your name I gave back what you gave to me I'm falling down so can you lift me Without you I drown Can you pick me up And don't put me down Can you lift me up Without you I drown I've been down And I've been twisted Lord, Lord Lifted with Lady Robin. I think this song will be released in about a month. Please look out for awesome video, very hard tech video we shot in New York. Thank you so much. איזה יופי, ניסים. תודה. איזה שיר, וואי, וואי, וואי. תודה רבה, תודה רבה, וואי, 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 וואי. ברוך השם.
We're dreaming about the finish and the winning Gathering holy sparks up at the ending From the little Nakudas that was in us Separating the real from the pretenders Not a contender, the holy one on my speed dial We've been conversating for a long while Shed a couple tears but it's clear now Operation Exile ends now Redemption Oh, I cannot wait, I've been waiting so long How much can I take all this weight I can't hold I just may crumble, I'm ready to fold, fold, fold Confession of words, please erase all my wrongs Please take me higher, put me in your arms I'm holding tighter, please don't let me go, go. Take me higher have a new edition of the campaign booklet of loving every person i'm going to say because we like to be universal with great devotion and it says specifically here loving every jew with great devotion just so we're reading what it says but the point is it's a new edition of bringing more love to the world and thank god to um, the great translator ralph cohen if you don't mind me plugging you there anyway Let's hear some feedback. It's amazing because it fits perfectly, this class, the timing, everything's divine providence. Awesome. Thank you, Rabaj, for inspiring Amuna class in music. And, of course, thank you, Hashem. That was last week's awesome Amuna class with Shtetl. Breslov helps me so much, someone wrote. I thank Rav Shalom for the English translators because the Yetzirah is so strong. We are forced to turn to the one who loves us so much. We can do nothing without Hashem. He is the one pleading us to love ourselves. We think it's easy, but actually it's not even possible without the help of Hashem. Again, Tada, truly, God said you sent you into my path, Rav Orish. And it's true, that was last week's class, amazing. Um, people have written again and again, they want to see us in the UK. They want to see us in uh, the West Coast, please God. Someone else wrote again, Tada Rabbi Ali G and Shavuot Tov and the translator. I just want to say, watching this gave me a feeling, and this is in reference to Nissan Black's video with the Rav, uh, a few years ago at Sukkot on the Simchas Beis HaShreva. Uh, last year he wasn't able to perform, but he did speak, Baruch Hashem. But this is what someone wrote under that popular video. I just want to say that watching this gave me a feeling it's hard to find words for. I am Jewish, born in Jerusalem, now live in the U.S. I am not religious, but a few years ago I discovered this in black and his music, opened my eyes to the breast of movement. I can say that I truly love my people. When I see the rabbi happy and dancing, it brings me joy. I don't know why. Even the happy little boy to his left made me smile. His expressions, his pure joy is something I wish I had. I cannot say it enough. Nisim is a gift to our people. And this was underneath our, thank God, our breast of video just this week was posted. Amazing timing, as if they knew that Nisim was coming because I hadn't announced it yet. And uh, we're very honored to have you here, Nisim. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank Hashem for giving us all our team and the MC, myself, Ralph Cohen, Translate, and all the previous coming classes, and hopefully also Rav Elgod. And we wish also our guest with his great energy and sincere soul with smiles and talents to inspire us this week and be blessed with uh, bringing the bright lights of his global tour also global. Amen. 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 Thank you. So Amen. we'll start off. Question? Yes, please. Amazing. All right. So there's a fellow that asked the, the following question. He says sometimes he finds that it's instead of Talking to Hashem, he would like to write to Hashem. Does that count as his do? Does that count as his personal prayer? Someone that has a, a skill for writing. says, even if you you keep your lips quiet, that's called his bodedu. Rabbi gives an advice to if it's easy for you just to write, so write first, and then after you writ you've written your following paragraph, Tashem, say it over, read it. All right, so that was that one. Number two. Is, can the rabbi give us a little bit chizuk, a little bit encouragement in regards to Tikkun Akali that Rabbi Nachman taught us how special it is? Let's see what the rabbi has to say. Shalim parav lechazek etanyan shel Tikkun Akali kolim. 
רבנו דיבר הרבה זמן, לפני שקהילת הסיכון כללי דיבר ואמר שישנם עשרה מזמורי תהילים שהם תיקון הכללי ושיש להם כוח גדול מאוד וממש הרבה זמן דיבר על זה ו... והוא לא גילה עדיין את העשרה מזמורים האלה רבי נחמן אב ברסלב, even before he revealed these 10 chapters of, of Tehillim that comprise of the Tikkun HaKali, he talked about how great it is and how wonderful it is, even without telling us which ones they were. He kept on saying how special it is. אז... ב... אחר כך, ממש אחרי איזו תקופה, אז כן הוא גילה להם מה הם עשו למזמורים, שהם... יש... אז אלה אמרו שהתהילים נאמר בעשרה מיני נגינה. רבנו, בשמיים גילו לו מה הם עשרה הפרקים שכל החג כנד אחד מהעשרה מיני נגינה. So after a while, רבי נחמן finally revealed to us which ten chapters they are, and he explained to us that there are ten types of song, and corresponding to each type, there is a chapter. in the Tehillim, and Rabbi Nachman was able to pinpoint which one is exactly connected to the ten types of song. אחר כך, גילה את התיקון הכללי, וכתב על כותב מרן, שמי שאומר אותם באותו היום, שהיה לו איזה מקרה, בוודאי תיקן את הכל. Afterward, Rabbi Nachman was able to bring it to us these ten psalms, these ten chapters, and it's written in the Kutim Aran, and it says that somebody that had something happen to him, if he says it on that day, he gets rectification for everything. If a person merits to go to the mikvah on that day too, that's, that's great, but Rabbi Nachman says, Even the fact that you said these 10 chapters, even without the mikvah, it's able to wipe you clean from this blemish. Everyone quotes that there's a czar that says that if a person sins with purity, he doesn't have any, any hope. He doesn't have any, any way to fix himself. זכה להשיג את הדבר הזה שקוראים לו תיקון כללי, שהוא כן תיקון מושלם לעוון הזה. So, Rabbi Nachman tells us that we don't understand the czar that says that we have no hope, we, have, we can't fix it. He says that 100%, if you say the תיקון הכללי, it's able to fix this blemish and, and bring you to a תיקון to rectification. ככה, מה שמע מדברה אמרנו, הבאנו מתה לו אשתו ראשונה, ושני הבנים היחידים שהיו לו, מתו לו. שאלנו לך ברוך השם חמש בנות, אבל שני הבנים היחידים מתו לו. ומה שמע כאילו מדברי רבנו, שהיה ממש כל זה קרה לו, שכל זה להמתיק את הדינים שיוכל לגלות לתיקון כללי. that Rabbi Nachman says that he lost his first wife and his two boys, he still left over five girls, but his two, of, two of his children and his first wife had to, Hashem took them, they passed away, in order for him to bring about the, the, the revelation of these ten chapters, of these ten Tikkun HaKali. שככה כתוב במשרד, במשרד ברורה, וכל כך צריך לדעת, אם הוא לא זוכה לשמוע את העיניים בשלמות, כל פעם שחלילה הוא, הוא מתאבל אישה, אז יוצא לו, בקטנים שלו יוצא לו טיפות. זה אי אפשר, לא יכולים להגיד בפירוש את הכל, כי יש אולי גם קטנים של... ילדים קטנים ששומעים אותנו ולא הבינו מה מדברים, אבל גם בהסתכלות יש בזה פגם. ש... אז לכן 
חשוב מאוד שכל יום נגיד את התיקון הכללי. So it's brought down in halacha, we don't want to get too graphic here, but the, the idea that a person has to be careful with his eyes, because nothing, a person sees something, it's, he's going to make him want to desire. And it could be that little drops come when you go to the bathroom. Says the rabbi that you should say tikkun akali every single day, just to make sure, to be careful. <laughs> צריכים ללמוד, יש ספר שקוראים לו בלתי שלום, יש גם באנגלית. בלתי שלום, צריכים ללמוד את הספר. צריכים לקיים את העצות שכתוב שמה, ולזכות ל... זאת אומרת, תיקון הברית, שלמות. אבל יש לנו גם את המתנה הזאת שקיבלנו, את התיקון הכללי, שזה תיקון עצום מאוד וגדול מאוד מאוד. Also, on top of Tikkun HaKali, the rabbi says that he has a book, Garden of Purity, that speaks about this topic and this issue, to take the book, to learn it, to follow the advice and practice it. The rabbi has a lot, a lot, a lot of important things in that book. And of course, with Tikkun HaKali, every single day, you'll be able to break down the barriers in front of you. Amen. 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 Yeah. יש לנו פה את המינסים, שאנחנו אוהבים אותו, אבל ממש אהבה מיוחדת, וממש, הוא זוכה שהוא שר ממש, עומק עליי והוא שר, ממש תענוג לשמוע את השאלה שלו. מלאקי תהב פה, אבל אני אשים פה, יחד עם הרב, הרב, זה עושה את הרב כל כך שמח, לראות אותך, לדבר איתך. תודה רב, תודה, תודה. We need some light to comment on this beautiful question taken clearly yeah um don't only add to what the Rav said being uh being zoha to be called a, a town under the Rav is uh something uh beyond uh beyond anything that we could definitely say in this world is is a beautiful gift And uh, even a bigger matana than that is the safer that the Rav just suggested, the Garden of Purity, um, life-changing. I maybe have read this book now six or seven times, I think. I hope I said it six or seven times I've read this book. Life-changing book. And uh, as Rav was saying it, I think I need to get several copies of it and start passing it out to other people. It's been a big problem, especially... I think bigger than that during this time is the Shovavim, is the beginning of the Shovavim, mm-hmm. where we are really especially um, busy with purity and guarding ourselves in, in, in that respect. And uh, one of the things that's brought down from Rebbe Nachman is that if a person, uh, he, he can't remember every single Avera that he's done every day, it's impossible for us to remember, even if we want to say, We want to rectify, we do an hour of Hebo to do it, and we're able to confess to Hashem everything that we can remember, but we can't remember every single thing in our life that we've done. But he said that the Tikkun HaKlali is to work on this specific uh, subject of purity. He says if a person could work on this, it's going to be able to bring a rectification for everything the person's ever done in his life. So that's how big you know, not only Tikkun HaKlali is, but this specific... Uh, specific thing and that was a question for me also too was that Rob that specifically when we see it we're not understanding we're saying two different things we're saying at one point Rabbi Nachman revealed these psalms these ten holy psalms in order to bring a, um, a, a, a rectification for if a person um, you know had a accident we'll call it right but When we even saying the hit kashut at the beginning of it says that this is since we're saying tikkun haklali that it's saying it's gonna it's covering everything everything a person does and and I think the proof is that if a person is reciting this after making a mistake on many different types of mistakes that if they they are saying it then it's 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 showing not only to the person but it's showing to Hashem that the person really is regretful for whatever the situation uh, was so. Tikkun HaKlali is a, is a very good, and you got to be a masmi to get it done. Today I saw, I'll just give you my personal story if it matters, this morning <laughs> that I wasn't going to have time 
to finish Tikkun Klali and do my regular learning seder because I had to get here. There's a few other things I had to do. So in between, I said like, Two of each Tikkun Klali, one at the at my accountant's office, one by the studio, one by here, all the <laughs> way to, to each person. I stop and I say another to finish it to make sure I finish all ten uh, uh, ten Tehillim. So you got to be a masmid. Reb Nachman says that because he said to do it, it's going to be kashe. It's going to be hard because he said to do it. So you have to know that that uh, comes along with the battle. Hashem. Wow! 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 <laughs> Vermont. One of the uh, things I just want to talk, discuss here that just came to my mind, very important, and I know that Nisim is a big chosid of this book, uh, as well as the Garden of Purity, is the Gan Hasholam, which is, <coughs> excuse me, the Garden of Peace. This has come up many, many times now with the current uh, controversies on podcasts and this and that. People are trying to understand exactly the safer, how important it is for our generation, and as Nisim is someone who's thankfully understands the importance of this safer, we'd like to just, since he's here this week, and he's also been on tour for three weeks, and he's please God again. The Bright Light Tours will be again resuming in January, and we hope, as a shall we pray, it will go smoothly and successfully. And we know that this ability to influence people, we also would like to go out to the U.S. as well as a Muna tour with the Rav, and to be able to impact people in person. But then in the rabbi Zohar to bring the rabbinit with, but Benissim <laughs> has to leave the family here. How does he work it out with the Shalom Bias and the Rav's Eitzes? This is something which everywhere mm -hmm. I go, it's just in a frat the Shabbos, they were asking about this book again and saying, the, the host was saying it's literally saved his marriage. And I hear this again and again mm -hmm. and again. So I'd like to understand again, it's something which needs more clarity. And please God, we'll yeah. have Shalom Bias. I see that. Um, I want to hold this up, you know, take a gift out of this, you know. How <laughs> you make a gift? Put it on the uh, strong advocate for this book. Now, Baruch Hashem, I would say that this is the book. I, I don't think I would have finished my Geras, my conversion to Judaism. I definitely wouldn't have the, the Kesha to Hashem that I have without this book. Like Rav says inside of here, it's not a book really on marriage. It's, it's a book on the Avodah Hashem, really, and, and learning really how to be Bittu. And I, and I think that uh, anybody that's familiar uh, with Lekutei Maharan, you'll, you'll figure out that uh, Torah Vav is very much so all deep inside of this book right here. Um, and uh, it's very, very important. So I would like to say, first off, is that I think this is one of the biggest things with a lot of Harav's books. Um, the Rav uh, says you can correct me, but specifically with this book is not a book of read and do it's a read pray and do because the emphasis is, is that without tefillah it's very very impossible to hear this i've heard unfortunately i just want to say over the years i would say i got this book in 2013 i think originally when i got this book life-changing i seen amazing miracles and i end up having to put the book down because it was so scary that I was seeing the miracles that was happening from my, I had to put it, I had to put it down because I was, I, it was like magic, you know, I, I literally saw the things manifesting themselves inside of my life from reading this book, so I was like scared, almost a little bit too scared. Now, the difference was I started to see as I, as I went on, <coughs> I see a lot of people who were telling me the same things, they were having amazing stories, and then I started to see other people saying, opposite things saying oh no it, i tried it the book didn't work for me and different things like that i guaranteed you not only have i done it my brother-in-law who's done it who also is a big advocate for this big shout out to yosef brown every person i've asked if they've done the tefillas who had a problem they say they never davened so you you don't understand is that what 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 is what is being said here and what the what the robs ate us here have to be lubricated with tefillahs, and the Rav says it over and over and over again. I'm just giving you this guide because the 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 emphasis, is, the truth is, is that it's very very hard for a person to go against the nature. The nature is not like that. My nature, I grew up, unfortunately, seeing my parents argue all the time. I had no real concept of what shalom bias was or anything like that. You know, I thought. You're supposed to argue. I've seen so many horrible relationships between siblings. I thought 
the icker was to fight and to go back and forth because you you see that so much that you think it's something that's normal so a lot of the concepts inside of here feel like they go against our nature and that's that's okay so by tefillah by praying we can go above our nature and I really, I, I really say this all in my heart, recommend reading any person who gets married that I know. I, I try to get them this book, try to get them the woman's book. But the, the truth is, if the guys read the men's book and they really are, are, are taking all that advice here, the women won't need the book. That's just a secret. But the truth is, is that the life changer book, I can't say no, enough about it, never gets old. It's advice for a lifetime. And uh, and and please, please, please take what I'm saying to daven on every single concept. I'm only repeating what the Ralph says inside of the book, but you have to daven on all of these things, or else you you you're just reading information. And this is this is these are things that need to go deep inside, so they need the lubrication of your of your prayers. So we want to say thank you, Nisim, and thank you to the Ralph. Thank you to the Ralph Shona Morris for such a book and all his books. All the books. Yeah. I was very happy that we brought up the book Garden of Peace today. Call you, call you, man, Palel. She call a Gvarim. The Gora Bahuim Shadain Lonsim. Me do the Sefer Gana Shalom. Rabbi, every single day he prays, but every male, every boy, every adult, married, not married, to read this book Garden of Peace. I pray in front of Hashem and I say, Hashem, give everybody the intellect and the knowledge. Rabbi Nachman teaches that a person can't find their soulmate because he does, he's lacking intellect, he's lacking knowledge. And even if he finds his soulmate and he gets married, but he doesn't have this knowledge and intellect, he won't have shalom bite, he won't have peace at home. She'll always want to do the opposite. For in order to have, to find your soulmate and to live with your soulmate in peace, you need to have intellect, you need to have knowledge. In this book, the Garden of Peace, is written everything you need to know, this knowledge that you need to have in order to have a successful life and a successful marriage is in this book. Young adults come to the rabbi, the rabbi says, read the book, not only read it, to understand what's written inside, and take it, the advice, You'll find your soulmate. You'll get this knowledge that you, that you're lacking in order to finally find your soulmate. And time after time, young adults come to the rabbi and they say, "I found my soulmate because of your book." Thank you. As for Hashem, Hashem, toda Hashem she, yes, mash, mash, sim, mene sim, mash, hezek tan kudadoti, be Hashem she, met niske she. The rabbi is thanking Nisan for bringing encouragement to this book and to to speak about its wonders. The rabbi says it's it hurts him a lot how there's so many people not finding their soulmate. There's so many young adults that are, they can't find their, their their proper soulmate. Rabbi says, take the advice, take the book. When you read it from cover to cover, slowly understanding it, when you get to the end, you will find your soulmate. The rabbi has these stories. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, Rishus, Rav, Shud, is that 
when I would like to say my personal journey when I was reading this book, and uh, maybe I'm sensitive, maybe I'm not, whatever, but I found it to be so powerful for myself that after each concept, I had to close the book and start davening to Hashem right then and there. I start to pray right then and there. And, and for that type of energy, you have to be willing and you have to want to grow. That's, that's you know, uh, most of the time, you know, a guy sees something, oh, uh, shalom by peace. I want to, okay, I want to read a book that's going to help me to make my wife shut up. You know, that's in his mind. You know, he's not thinking about himself at all. But it's one of those things where you definitely have to be willing and ready to work on yourself. And I, I, I remember like yesterday, reading this book and having tears in my eyes as I'm reading the book, and I will close it and cry, and, and, and it's nobody's fault. I just, I didn't know. I didn't know. And as the, the Rav is revealing this to me, this really made me a chassid of the Rav, because I, I, reading this, I said, there's no way that anybody was able to be, to be able to have this type of advice and, and bring this down that wasn't getting it directly from Hashem. After that, we, I went online and, and was looking for reviews, like, as you always do, and I seen groups of Christians, non-Jews, who were saying, this book is anointed. And if anybody knows what that means, I mean, these words are the words of God themselves, and they're not Jewish. They're not Jewish. These are Christian groups, having study groups on this book specifically. Um, so I was able to see the impact. I had a friend who himself was not Jewish. She was in a, in, in a failing marriage. And for many reasons, that marriage had to end. It was very, very hard on him. But I, what I did see was that at the end of everything, he got this book. And I remember at the beginning of everything, he was telling me, you know what? My wife is nuts. She'll tell you herself. She'll write it for you, whatever. She's crazy. It was her, the whole everything. He started reading this book. He called me a few days later with tears in his eyes saying, that I can't believe I destroyed my marriage. I can't believe I did this. He started making an hour every single day. Like I said, the marriage at that point was completely done for several reasons. It should have, anybody would have told, the rabbi would have said it should, it should end. But even at the end of all of it, he started going out doing an hour of people to do it every day. This friend is a Christian. He's not, uh, he's not Jewish. He been to you know uh, schools, um, uh, uh, seminary to be become a Christian, and he said to me that I thought before that I knew God. Not until after I read this book and I started praying to God every day for an hour that now I feel like I know God. Like everything was a lie up until this point, and even that in the failing marriage, the, it brought so much. Unfortunately, his ex-wife's no longer here, but. She was saying to him, I can't believe it. Why now all of a sudden this change? You can't change. She had to run away because he was changing so much that it scared her that she would have to have to have to stay inside the marriage, unfortunately. But uh I, I, I seen I seen that manifest himself into him being the most awesome and terrific husband today that that, you know, I've seen this book literally rescue people. So um I really say, you know, but the the main thing is first know yourself if you're ready for real growth and real change then this is the book for you amen amen well i need a shabbat is a super she lo yudim it's the shaken shali she by la man we are by america there's a goal man look at again i'm a time i kill shalom or some more kill shaken shali to get low the rabbi had a neighbor that went on a trip to to the U.S. and he he met a non-Jew, and the non-Jew said, "Do you know Rabbi Shalom Arish?" He said, "Of course, he's my neighbor." He said, "I want you to go tell him in my name that you changed my life. You changed my my marriage. You brought it about so." <laughs> Amazing. Stories all over. All over. Yes. <laughs> and that's why during Shobhavim, we are now going to go to another question, which is totally in line with everything, with God's help, helping us keep on this focus of purity and peace in the home. And to question six, if Ralph could take us. just want to remind everybody, as part of our Shobhavim campaign, it's important that everyone join together online, keep promoting the books of Rav Shalom Morish, his teachings, his classes.
We have a new opportunity that's slowly developing of the Rav's weekly shear in Cholon being translated by Rav Rav Cohen. And I'll be doing my class tomorrow about Shobhavim. Please God, our weekly Amunah class, pushing all the different content out through the channels that we have here. And it's a big honor for us. So now let's go to question six and discuss ahead with these themes of Shobhavim. Huh. All right. So what is the correct balance of guarding your eyes and your personal holiness when you're dealing with Kirov of bringing people closer and Avat Yisrael and loving every Jew? question being that he's on the road doing this on a big level sometimes me included <laughs> שיעור בתוך בית של נשים, וכמובן הם באים גם מאוד גם נשים, <laughs> וגם אליי באים מאוד גם נשים לבקש ברכות, או לשאול שאלות. <laughs> אז אדם יכול לעבור, אני ברוך השם זוכה לעשות קידושים, יש גם גם קלות שם, <laughs> ובריתות. <laughs> באים בברית, באים גם אנשים לבקש ברכות. כשאדם, הוא זוכה שהוא עוצם את העיניים, אני עושה הכל, העיקר העיניים העצומות. הכל אני עושה, מברך, מדבר, שומע, העיקר העיניים, אני פשוט עוצם את העיניים, פשוט. ועד אבא, חושבים שאולי אנשים נפגעו אותו פתאום. אנשים מכבדות את זה. הן רואות אדם שהוא, שהוא אומר, מבינות את זה, מבינות את זה, וזו האמת. וזו האמת, צריכים ש... צריך לדבר על זה עוד קצת. אז הרבי אמר, בואו נראה דוגמא מהחיים שלו. הוא אמר, לפני כן הוא היה בבית, הוא הלך לאיזשהו בית, והוא נותן לו קלאס. והוא נותן לו קלאס שיש בבית, אז כמובן שזה יהיה שתי קלאסים, זה יהיה שתי קלאסים, זה יהיה שתי קלאסים, זה יהיה שתי קלאסים, והם כל כך יבואו לרבי ולשאול לרבי ולשאול לרבי ולשאול לרבי ולשאול לרבי ולשאול For advice and help rabbi also he's he officiates marriages there's there's uh there's women hanging around there underneath the the chupa underneath the canopy the rabbi give is by is by a brit milah there's the you buy different functions there's there's going to be women that want to get your blessings they want to get your your advice rabbi says that the main thing you could bless you could you could talk to them you could give advice the main thing is to just close your eyes that's what the rabbi does he says i close my eyes and everything else is everything else after it says oh a person will ask hey that's offensive you're gonna go a lady's talking to you and you're closing your eyes it's disrespectful i says it's not true he's gonna talk about it more in depth but he said ladies respect that and they realize that this you're doing something on a on a, as a truthful level they respect what you're doing כן, כמו ש... אז פעם למדתי שיעור שם ברמת אביב, שבאו רק נשים מכובדות, נשים של דוקטורים, פרופסורים, אז נכנסתי עם עיניים ככה כמעט עצומות ככה, רק לראות את איפה אני הולך. אחד האנשים שאל אותי, תגיד, מה, אתה לא מסתכל, מסתכל על אנשים? אמרתי לו, אמרתי לה, הלוואי שגם בעליך לא היה מסתכל על שום אישה. אמר לי, באמת, הלוואי. ורבי, פעם אחת הוא נתן קלאס בקלאס קלאס פונקשן עם אומן של חי סטטוס, ואני חושב... The rabbi, the rabbi walks in and this lady comes over to the rabbi, watching him walk with his eyes closed, looking only at the little bit in front of him to see where he's going. And she says, Rabbi, you really, you really close your eyes, you don't look at us. The rabbi said, you, you wish that your husband would act like this. And she said, it's true. I would want my husband to go like this too. Isha, she met me chabet as well, you would not. אדם, אדם שהוא שומר תור מצוות, ככה צריך לעשות. 
לא... לכן אדם צריך לשמור, לשמור את העיניים שלו, וללכת לקרב אנשים, לדבר עם אנשים, ו... ושהוא... בכלל, כשאדם הוא הולך לקרב, אז יש לו שמירה מיוחדת, ויש לו כוח מיועד, ולכן אין לו... אין שום סתירה. לשמור את העיניים ולקרב את עם ישראל. אדרבה, אז יש, אז יש הצלחה. values and your strong feelings and you're going to spread Torah and you're going to bring people closer to Hashem and together with your personal purity he says first of all you have a special special help from Hashem mm-hmm. and he says even on top of that that's the greatest type of spreading the the truth and spreading love when you come with out of uh, out of doing the right thing then your words will be heard and everyone will want to hear what you have to say and take your advice so go for it continue with the with the holiness and continue with with bringing everyone closer to Hashem. Amen. Wow. <laughs> so we're really flowing with the show of him focus because this next question, and this might be our last one for tonight or today, because it's going to go out live this class in the night for the Eastern uh, East communities in the U.S. It's going to be at 8.15 or 8.30. And for the Israelis, it will be 3.30 in the morning. So whoever happens to be awake at that time, uh, Labriot, But the seventh question is, Ralph, are we sure. there, maybe? Okay, okay question we'll of fix, Rose. We'll fix it up. Yeah. You'll fix it up? Yeah. Okay, let Ralph do it. <laughs> It's brought in halakha that a person is, is supposed to eat certain foods on, on Friday night to bring him to have more love. So is this something that he should, should, uh, should do on a constantly on every single week or if he should feel like he's, he has to be pure or something like that? יש, יש בימי שבת, איך עוד דברים בליל שבת, ש, ש, שיהיה יותר אהבה, כגון שום ודברים כאלה. אז מה הבן אדם עכשיו לגבי הקדושה? עוד אבא, זה, 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 זה לא, אדם צריך, שיהיה לו שלום בית, עוד אבא. כשאדם זוכה, לא יסתכל בחוץ על נשים אחרות. אז בוודאי הוא אוהב אשתו. ודאי, כשאדם מסתכל על השם בחוץ, הוא לא יכול לאהוב את איסור אשתו. איך אומרים? הדשא של השכן תמיד יותר רחוק. זאת אז הוא, ככה שאדם שומע את העיניים, בוודאי אוהב את אשתו. בוודאי יש הלכות, אנחנו לא... כשאדם חי על פי ההלכה, זה נקרא תיקון הברית. When we live according to the halakha, that means that you have purity. Doesn't mean that you should, you should, uh, should do things when you're not supposed to do. Or that when a person goes according to halakha, according to the letter of the law, then you're acting pure. A person that says that the grass is always greener on the other side. He doesn't guard his eyes. He's always looking around, seeing what's going on around him. That person is far from purity. But a person that's careful to guard his eyes, Of course, he's going to have very, very strong love between him and his wife. And that's the way the Torah wants it to be. Not that you should go and, and it should be lustful. It should be out of true love between husband and wife. That's the way the Torah wants it to be. So let's not get confused. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. So here we are in our 52nd class. We are going to hopefully have this in black featured in a beautiful... Collage. We'll have to see how it comes out, if it will join the main video or not. You'll see that it's a special version of a new song, a new track that he performed throughout his tour with much, much success called Lifted, featuring Levy Robbins. We're going to have a clip that's going to be uh, Nissen performing. Arav, you tell the Rav that he sang before. We would have loved to perform it in front of the Rav, but the Rav was Brok Hashem. He was busy with the Holy Mikvah and Brok Hashem. He's living the teachings of Shobhavim and his garden of purity, Brok Hashem. And we're going to hopefully... have an opportunity at the beginning of the video, at the end of the video, to see two of the new latest hits from Nissan Black with the uh, higher and changes. 
and the very special special video especially for me changes i was a part of the zion orphanage it was a very special organization as well as obviously here as well with all the wonderful causes that join together and collaborate it's very important that we help each other and develop that love for israel i think that's what should be maybe our last question about avis as well being that nisim is doing this in real time with his tours and from but we'd love to hear from the rav and from nisim how we can get ready for mashiach show with him there's a segula for mashiach and we'd like to bring a muna global how do we do that most important work of avis as well as we're learning in the banner of love over here with this new book and the campaign bringing avis we need your names we need your partnership to keep praying for the jewish people and the world please let's hear from the rav and from Nissen. <laughs> Oh, okay. okay, okay, okay. Um, you know, one one of the biggest things that I think that, that you learn really from the Rav is a Havas Israel and, and, and just the love of every every Jew. Rav is not only, you know, since the Maron tragedy, um, but even before has been a big staple of a Rav and one person that we did lose in the Maron tragedy is Moshe Tzapati. Uh-huh. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> so, um, like I say, in the Rav, this is this is yeah. nothing new. Yeah. Although although we've yeah. gone very very deep on this campaign now, okay. but the Rav has spoke about Avos Israel a lot. And one of the 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 people that I can think of from the yeshiva, Moshe Tzfati, who we actually lost in uh, in Meiron, um, who was my chavrusa when I was here in the in the yeshiva. We used to learn Lekutei Halachot and one thing that I could say that Moshe Tzfati would drill into me is Ahav Yisrael over and over and over. He would look into my eyes with fire and it goes, Nisim, and it's broken English. You have to love the people, love the people, love the people. And he would say it over and over again to me, like, in, you know, got, kind of got scary a little bit. But uh, uh, but but it was a big thing on Ahav Yisrael um, that, that really, really helped me to start davening. So... One of the biggest stories, uh, you know, I've told this story even to Harav before at his house over Suda, um, but why people think they know me is because they think I'm just some great uh, artist and different things. All these gifts were given to me from Hashem. I didn't, my mother was a rapper, my father, I inherited music and, and, and Hashem gave it to me as a gift. But the truth is I was doing a lot of Hebrew to do it. I was, I was mechazek from uh, 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 Rav's Seform. In a few different places, he wrote about himself being in debt, and he went out to go talk to Hashem, you know, for a long period of time. And I took this advice because I was in a horrible situation, and every time I would turn to one of Harav's books, it'd be one of the pamphlets or the book where it said exactly that, and I knew Hashem was talking to me. My wife thought I was nuts, and uh, I went out, and after this, I, I remember my wife saying to me, um, after we had one of our talks, I said, I feel like I need to go out and I need to go spend time with the Shim. There's no other rescuing and, and the Shim is making it very, very clear for me. She thought I was nuts. She said, you need about six or seven jobs. That's what the Shim is saying to you. So anyway, she, uh, uh, I told her at the end of the conversation, I said, you know what, let's go and let's, let's go talk to Hashem. You, you talk to Hashem, I talk to Hashem, we'll figure out what Hashem wants from us. And uh, a, a day or two later, my wife comes to me. And she says, what do dreams mean? I said, dreams, they don't really mean anything. A dream is a dream, you know. Uh, I said, but maybe if you had it at this time, whatever. Anyway, what would you dream? She says, oh, never mind. No, don't worry about it. I ask her, what do you mean? No, what do you mean? What do you dream? She said, no, don't, don't worry. So I, I always knew that if you wanted to find the answer to a question, you should ask a person right when they're like almost halfway asleep. So I asked her when she was almost asleep. And she told me that she had a dream. After we talked, she went, she was Ms. Pala to Hashem. She talked to Hashem, and she said that I had a dream. You were on a stage, and so many people were coming to Tshuva. You were rapping, and so many people were coming to Hashem. And, and she seen this in her dream. After this, I quit the job. I was working at the, the Kolel in, in Seattle over there, and I went out every day for six hours to go talk to Hashem. On my matzav, I, would, I think I was about... 17 days in when my song Hashemela came out and went viral. At the time, I was three months behind on my rent, and I didn't know where my next dime was going to come from. And not only that, was I over there praying. I wasn't spending all my time talking about even my financial situation. I was davening about being able to be mechazik 
I'm his son. So my wife saw in a dream. Hashem used me to be able to be a Kli. And during this time, I realized I started to develop so many love for Yidden. And I remember by the time I went back to New York to perform my concert, I think we were at the Brooklyn Theater or something like that. And didn't even know. You, you don't even know from when things take off to where you have a song that goes viral and then how many people know you. You don't really pick up on all these things until you're on the stage and you're seeing thousands of people screaming and you realize that, hold on, these were my tefillahs, the love that I'm getting from the people, these were all the tefillahs that I was davening to Hashem about, and I, it was almost like Hashem was bringing everything full circle, and I was able to be a recipient of the love that I was given by praying for Am Yisrael at the time to be able to, to be a cleave for Hashem's light. So I seen it recently on my tour, there was a, uh, a non-Jewish uh, manager of one of, the, one of the concert venues that we had, and this was, you know, standard non-Jewish place. And they tried to market outside the, the Jewish audience. <laughs> so many Jews still showed up to the shows. It didn't matter. And he afterwards said to my agent, this is just recently in this story, he said, I've never done a show like that where I've seen that an artist can mean so much to the people. And all I could say was that this is the love of all of my tefillahs and my crying to be able to be an instrument for Hashem to bring people closer to Hashem. So it's much more than me. And when I'm davening and I'm praying on these things, I, I was able to receive I, all throughout this tour. All I felt was the love. And I said, Hashem, these are, these are all my tefillahs. I can see that this is all, all the, the hebo to do, the long hebo to do. And I'm crying Hashem on, on use me to bring people close to Hashem. So I, I think that uh, keeping in line with the habits as well, that, not only will, will a person see benefits of it in the world to come, you'll see it even right here and right now. You'll be able to see uh, uh, with your own eyes the wonderful things that you're able to do by davening on Klai Yisra. Very long-winded. Sorry. No, beautiful. Beautiful. Sorry, sorry. I have to sing. All right, so I don't know if this other piece will, will be on there, but I'll, I'll do a little piece from the from the lifted uh, from the lifted song that I had, and uh, afterwards you're gonna have to metagim for Rav. Milim tovim, milim yafe. The hardest thing to deal with is to move without feelings, seeing signs on all sides, but don't know what your will is, don't know what the real is. I'm feeling my backs against the wall. Seeing all of my mistakes, and I desire to fix them all, but without you it's impossible. And from my insides I will call, but then it don't even ring. They all say how much you love me, so how could it be that you will let me destroy myself? I need saving from me. And when they write inside my book, use my tears as the ink, so they could testify on me. All I did to break free and to glorify your name, I gave back what you gave to me. Uh, I'm falling down, so can you lift me? Lift it. Thank you. <laughs> you got I, to, I, I write it down. <laughs> the hardest thing to deal with. The hardest thing to deal with is to move without feelings. Seeing signs on all sides. But don't know what your will is. Don't know what the real is. Don't know what the real is. I feel my back's against the wall. I see all of my mistakes. And I desire to fix them all. But without you, it's impossible. And from my insides, I call you. But then it doesn't even ring. From my insides, I call, but then it doesn't even ring. And they all say how much you love me, so how could it be? So how could it be that you will let me destroy myself? I need saving from me. And when they write inside my book, use my tears as the ink. So that they can testify on me. That I gave everything to glorify your name and I gave back what you gave to me. So I'm falling wow. down. Can you lift me? I need a friend. Tell me what. Yeah. Wow. 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 Wow.
Wow, what an Amunah class. Thank you, Nissen Black, for joining us. We'll be joining you again in the new week. And until then, share this global, share Nissen Black's music global. We'll finish off with one of his tracks, hopefully, at the end of this video. Get the music out there. Get the message out there. Make Amunah global. Bring the books of Rav Shalom Morris, the Garden of Amunah series global, Amen. all the campaigns, Amen. all the Avis Israel. And it's because of you guys praying for Am Yisrael, for people and for universal love, that we're able to do this class because we're feeling the love just sitting in the studio and we're feeling your prayers to keep them growing and growing and growing. Amen. 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 Thank you. 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 But it can all change. Brand is so blind, they nearly tripped all over you, yeah, yeah I only stumble, I got humbled when you moved, yeah, yeah So many hardships I was fighting to get through, yeah Because you shine a light on me and let me choose, yeah, yeah You pulled me up when I was low, yeah. I didn't trust you, I didn't know how to let go, yeah And I got worried cause I like to keep control, yeah Even in places that I never been before, yeah I turned it over to you when you let me go Looking for love in all the wrong places, I know I did So I'm trying to find out who I am and what I'm doing here for Feeling something so deep inside, I don't know what it is though Plenty I want to cry from, but is it what to live for? With all this pressure, I feel squeezed, yeah, yeah I stop crying to drain my energy, yeah, yeah I ain't lying, I just pretend to be me, yeah. Feeling scattered, I need some synergy, yeah You put me up when I was low, yeah. I didn't trust you, I didn't know how to let go, yeah and I got worried cause I like to keep control yeah. Even in places that I never been before yeah. I turned it over to you when you left me go And now I really know You're all that I was looking for I give it everything to show Cause I'm so ready to change yeah. 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 I really want you to stay Everything I do, I do for your love Trying to reach up to you, I be short, son I'm ready for change, I wanna know you You let me go 